Upgrade to shore, non-stop protection. Pretty good showing from Ireland on their Women's World Cup debut, but they lost 1-0 to the co-hosts Australia. The game was shown at a pub in London, which has been hired to show every match of the World Cup. The cultural impact of the tournament impressed fans from both sides, including one face you might recognise. They put in a great game, but we are so incredibly proud. And it just shows you, there's a lot of people who are like, oh my God, this will mean an investment in younger girls in the sport, learning to play at school. So by the time they get to a certain stage, they'll have been playing since they were five or six or seven at primary school and secondary school. And I think that's a big positive part of this for everyone. They showed the attendance of the game towards the end and there was such a cheer in the bar here and for me that's the biggest thing is like yes there is a market for female sport. Honestly that team plays with so much heart and they've you know they haven't had the funding and the finance and the development that other teams in this competition have had and look at them out there just fighting it out tooth and nail unbelievable. We weren't expected to do well and we have scared Australia we've held them out we played well and yeah, it's hard. you can't not be proud of these girls. They put the work in the build-up. They've shown up today. They're, and I think if you are watching Ireland for the first time, a lot of people won't have seen Ireland play. A lot of Irish people won't have seen the Irish women play. If you tune in and this is the first that you ever see of Ireland football, it's so brilliant. It was so amazing to watch. I'm so proud of the girls. And anyone that's watching it should be excited for what's to come. We've got people who walked in today by themselves and have now made four or five friends. And I think that's what the women's game has to offer culturally. It is about community and it's also about determination and grit, which both Irish, the Irish team and the Australian team showed in spades today. Big fan of women, big, big fan of Ireland. I've heard football has become popular. So that's my allegiance in terms of order. But this has definitely uh, gotten a non-sporty person round to, to watching every single game that's coming up.